the great outdoors. And one of the things that makes it so great is there's not many mosquitoes. And now up here in northern Minnesota, we do have plenty of mosquitoes. Some people would say the mosquito is the state bird. But there's not too many mosquitoes in the backyard because I keep them under control. And I've got a method for keeping the mosquitoes under control that really works well. And it costs almost nothing. It's super easy. And you've probably already got everything you need to implement it yourself. So I'd like to tell you about that so you can keep your outdoor spaces enjoyable and mosquito free. But before I get into that, let's quickly talk about some of the other ways that people try to control their mosquito problems. There's a number of methods that are commonly in use and most of them go after the flying mosquitoes. Uh, for example, you can use chemical repellents like uh, this stuff, which works pretty effectively, but you have to spray it on yourself and I consider that to be usually the lesser of a couple evils. Now, one of the pluses of it is it acts nearly instantaneously. So if I'm in a situation with a lot of mosquitoes, I can just spray this around, spray this on myself, and that takes care of the biting insects. Now, it doesn't take care of the fact that the mosquitoes are still flying around and being annoying, but at least they don't bite. Of course, there are other insecticides that you can fog the area with, and they're effective too, but they're not real long lasting. And I'm not too keen on spraying all those chemicals around, and that's an expensive solution. Of course, there are things such as citronella candles, which I think have very limited effectiveness. Electric bug traps, which again, don't work real well for mosquitoes. Other types of insects are attracted to them, but mosquitoes, not so much. And then we have things like the mosquito magnet. This is the mosquito magnet machine, which was the first way we tried to take care of mosquitoes in our backyard. And it does work, but I wouldn't say that it works super effectively. The method I'm gonna talk about here in a little bit, I think works much better than the mosquito magnet for a fraction of the cost. The mosquito magnet is a fairly expensive machine and it consumes a tank of propane gas. And we use about one tank of 20 pounds of propane per month to run the mosquito magnet machine. It also requires some attractant to attract the mosquitoes into it as well, which is a consumable supply that costs some money. Uh, this machine catalyzes the gas, creating a little bit of heat and some CO2, which comes out the bottom port, and that attracts mosquitoes. They're attracted to the CO2. And so they fly nearby this horn on the bottom of the machine, which has a little bit of airflow coming up through it because of a fan inside of here, and it sucks the mosquitoes into the machine and traps them into a net. And so this machine will suck up the mosquitoes in the vicinity, and if you leave it running for a few weeks, it will make a dent in the mosquito population in your area. But I think that there's an even more effective solution for a lot lower price. Uh, in order to understand how it works, let's talk about the mosquito life cycle. Mosquitoes have a fairly short life cycle. They live for a month, maybe two at most. And during that life cycle, they don't fly very fast or very far. So chances are that the mosquitoes that are in your backyard were probably born in your backyard, and that's where they will spend their entire life. Now, you may get a couple of mosquitoes from a few miles away, but for the most part, most of the mosquitoes that you're being plagued with were born and raised right where they are. And so the good news with that is that if you can control the mosquitoes in your local area and get their numbers knocked down, well, you'll break the breeding cycle and you won't get more mosquitoes. That is, you'll be able to effectively control the number of mosquitoes in your acre or two of area. And it will take quite some time for the mosquito population to rebound because most of those mosquitoes that you take out are local mosquitoes who just stay there for their entire lives. 
And while the mosquitoes are buzzing around, they're looking for a couple of things. They're looking for sources of CO2, which are breathing animals that they can feed upon. And they're looking for standing water where they can lay their eggs and larvae to breed the next generation of mosquitoes. And so most of the mosquitoes that are flying around will only be flying around for another week or two until the next batch of eggs hatch and you get fresh new mosquitoes. And so our mission is to break the life cycle of the mosquitoes that are in your area. And most of the typical solutions for going after mosquitoes that people pursue attack the flying mosquitoes. Well, I think it might be more effective to attack the mosquito larvae instead. Because a flying mosquito is one mosquito, but when it breeds, it can breed hundreds of replacement mosquitoes. So if we take care of the mosquito problem at the breeding stage, I think we can more easily make a big impact on the population. And that's been my experience. So here's how we take care of the mosquito problem on our property. And it's super inexpensive and super easy and you've probably already got all of the materials that you need to do this. The mosquitoes are going to be looking for a place to breed their eggs and they need a little bit of standing water to do that with. And so I go around the house and the property and make sure that there are no sources of standing water. There's no old tires that are holding a little bit of water or potted plants that are holding stagnant water or anything like that. I get rid of all of the standing water so there's no place for the mosquitoes to conveniently lay their eggs in the area. If you have water features in your property, you can get mosquito dunks from the hardware store, which are fairly inexpensive. It's a solid chunk of insecticide. It's really an enzyme that you can drop into the water feature and that will make that water unsuitable for the breeding of mosquitoes. But it doesn't make the water poisonous for the fish or other aquatic animals. So it's a fairly benign kind of control method. So once I've gotten rid of all of the standing water and treated the water around the property so that it can't be used for breeding mosquitoes, then I want to give the mosquitoes a place where they can breed. And so we've set some buckets around the perimeter of the property. And in this kitty litter bucket, I've just got a couple inches of water. And so that will give the mosquito a very nice, convenient place to lay their eggs and they'll be attracted to these buckets and they'll use them to try to create the next generation of mosquitoes. Unfortunately for the mosquitoes I put a little bit of cooking oil into the water just a tablespoon or two is enough. If you prefer you could use dishwashing soap or maybe better yet would be those hardware store anti-mosquito dunks that you put in ponds and you just need to use a little fraction of one of those tablets for that amount of water. And so the mosquitoes will lay their eggs in that water and the larvae will soon perish and you won't generate the next generation of mosquitoes. Now because mosquitoes have such a short lifespan and such a relatively rapid regeneration cycle, since the mosquitoes that are in the water, the larvae, doesn't generate fresh mosquitoes, the existing mosquitoes soon die off and there's nothing to replace them with. And so you'll see in a couple, three weeks, a dramatic reduction of the mosquitoes in your area. And since most of the mosquitoes in your area were born and raised in your area, and you tend not to get too many mosquitoes from other areas because they don't fly very far or very fast, your mosquito problem will be pretty well taken care of for quite a while. So I urge you to give this a try. It's super inexpensive and it's been the most effective way that I've found to control the mosquitoes in the backyard. Now, of course, if you have a neighbor who is nearby, a couple hundred feet away, and they're not doing any kind of mosquito control measures, well, that's going to be a challenge because they'll keep generating fresh mosquitoes for you to enjoy as well. But if you have a fair amount of space and you can control all of the mosquitoes within that space, within your half an acre or so, I think you can achieve pretty good levels of mosquito control with this very simple 
inexpensive method. So, I wish you the best of luck in controlling your mosquito problem. I hope you have a fantastic summer with enjoyable summer days and nights that are bug free. And I appreciate you tuning in and watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, I would also appreciate if you'd take a moment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, remember to hit that bell for notifications so you're aware when new content on this channel drops. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you again on another episode.